Hello, I'm Andrew, and this is a brief introduction to spreadsheets. If you wish to hear a more detailed explanation, then please see the longer full-length version of this video. For this video, I'll be using the spreadsheet software by Kingsoft. What we actually have loaded here is called a workbook. And like a physical book, a workbook can contain a number of different sheets and pages. If you look down to the bottom left, you'll see all the tabs for each different sheet we have loaded. If you right click on these sheet tabs, this will bring up a separate menu option relative to the sheet and workbook. Similarly, if you click on any other option or feature, it will also bring up another set of options specific for that task or feature. In the bottom right corner, we have a magnification bar, which you can use to zoom in and out of your work with. Each one of these little boxes is called a cell, and it is referenced by its column letter and its row number. So this is F11, D4, and B1. You can move between cells by using the arrow keys, or the tab key to t move across the rows, or the enter key to drop down each row. If you need to select more than one cell, there's a couple of ways to do this. First, select the start cell or the corner of a block of cells which you wish to copy. Left click and hold down your mouse button and drag across the cells. Alternatively, you can use the shift key. Select your start cell, hold down the shift key and click the end cell or the corner cell. To select multiple cells, you use the control key. Press and hold down the control key and again select the different cells you want. So you can select a number of different single cells or multiple blocks by again doing the drag method. And also deselect single cells within the block. To deselect your cells, just click anywhere else on the spreadsheet. I can also select rows and columns in exactly the same way, just by clicking on the column letter or the row number. I can also use the shift key and the control key. So if I hold down the shift key, I can select a block of rows and hold down the control key to add extra columns. To enter data, you just simply start typing, then either use the tab enter or arrow keys to move down to an Excel to accept it. Or you just use the green tick next to the input line here. You can also use the input line or formula bar to enter data directly into the cell as well. So you just simply start typing and it appears within the cell and click the green tick. To edit data within the cell, first select it and then you can use the input line up here to make your changes. So I can change that to a capital A and again hit enter or use the green tick. Alternatively, you can just double click within the cell and just start typing and editing within the cell using the normal text editing features. Yeah, to delete a cell, just use the backspace or delete key. But these keys on different versions of software will behave in slightly different ways. You can copy the contents of a cell across two other cells just by selecting the cell again, then move the cursor to the bottom right of the cell usually indicated by the little black dot here until it changes to a small cross like so. Once it's turned to a small cross click and hold your left mouse button and drag down to the cells you wish it to copy to. Another way to move and copy cells is to use the familiar cut, copy and paste. Again select our range of cells we want and up here we'll have cut and then we will select where we want this block to be moved to so we'll select this cell and now we we'll click on the paste and that's moved our block and again in the same way we can copy cells so we want those four copied so we now just click on the copy option select where we want it copy to and click the paste one feature of spreadsheets is that it has what is known as autofill, in that it will try and guess what you are actually wanting to type or enter into the cells. So in this column, I have Andrew and Elizabeth. So if I now just start to type an A, it will assume that I'm trying to enter Andrew in again. 
So if I type A, it's offered me Andrew. And now I can either just carry on typing over that, or I can accept. Or if I type in E, that'll offer me Elizabeth, and I can accept that just by dropping down to the next row or navigating away as usual. Autofill will also predict logical sequences of data. So if we enter a 1 and a 2, and we copy these two cells down, it will assume that we want to add 1 each time to each cell. So this will just be a sequential column from 1 to 18. Similarly, if I type in Jan up here, January, so if I type in the name of the month up here and copy this down, it will now fill in all the rest of the months for me. And same the days of the week. And finally, you need to know how to save the data. You can either do this by clicking on the save icons on the ribbon bar, or by selecting the option from the main menu. So we click Save As. You'll need to know how to save as a CSV file. Uh, CSV stands for Comma Separated Value. This will strip out all the different formatting and just save the data separated by columns, which makes it easier for other applications and databases to read. Uh, so after you've typed in your file name, we can now select from the drop-down options here, CSV file and here we have it near the bottom and just save it'll actually ask you it'll actually remind you that what you're trying to save um, is going to change all the formatting and you want to go ahead with it so you just click yes through those so there we have a little brief look at how to use spreadsheets as I said, if you want a more detailed explanation, then please see the longer video. Thank you for watching.